One fine morning Max wakes up next to his girlfriend Evelyn, but when he goes out to the living room, he notices that his half-brother, Travis, has used their apartment as a space again. Worried that Evelyn will get angry because of the unwanted visitors, Max pleads for Travis to leave. However, Travis thinks Evelyn is too controlling, but Max thinks she's too great of a loss to leave. Suddenly, Evelyn wakes up to kick Travis and his women out. Because of this, Max points out that Evelyn was too harsh, but when she disagrees, Max apologizes. Furthermore, Max is in a hurry to get to work, but Evelyn wants Max to stay longer so they can be intimate for a while. Of course, Max couldn't say no, hence, he gets to work late and is scolded by his boss over the phone. Despite already working in a horror memorabilia shop, Max dreams of opening his own someday. When he gets the delivery for their new products, he sees a variety of sexy costumes in a Satan genie, one that grants wishes in an evil way. But, he shrugs it off and instead calls Evelyn so she can come by and wear one of the sexy costumes. After getting intimate in the back room of his workplace, Max talks to Evelyn about his dream to open his own horror shop, but Evelyn thinks it's just a stupid dream, especially because she doesn't believe in supernatural things. Still, Max does his best to defend his ideas. Afterward, Evelyn says she's grateful for meeting Max because she was heartbroken after her mother died, but Max made her feel alright. So, Evelyn makes Max promise that they'll be together forever. Unknowingly, the Satan genie gets activated from Evelyn's wish. Soon enough, Evelyn moves in with Max in his apartment. Later on, they go outside, where Max offers to get ice cream with Evelyn. Although she was apprehensive because she doesn't drink milk, Max managed to convince her. Inside, they see Olivia, the cool shop owner who makes the ice cream herself. Furthermore, Max is amazed because of all the unique flavors that derive inspiration from monster cereals. Because of their shared interests, Max and Olivia immediately hit off. Noticing this, Evelyn feels threatened and starts berating Olivia. She angrily walks away, but Max apologizes first to Olivia before following his insecure girlfriend. Back at the apartment, Max comes back to a crying Evelyn, who apologizes for her behavior. Soon, they make up, but Max is already getting tired of the relationship. At work, Max gets a call from Evelyn saying she has a surprise for him. Excitedly, Max rushes back to their apartment, but the surprise isn't as pleasant as he was expecting. Evelyn's surprise is that she remodeled their entire apartment to be environment-friendly and 100% green. Obviously, Max isn't super glad about the change. However, he doesn't voice this opinion until he sees that Evelyn ruined his novelty posters by folding them. Max gets angry at her for deciding by herself, but Evelyn pulls out the dead mother card again, making him feel guilty. Because of the argument, Max goes to Travis for help. But, the only advice Travis could give is for Max to break up with Evelyn in a public place. So, Max follows the suggestion and calls Evelyn so they can meet up at the dog park. Because of this, Evelyn excitedly comes because she thinks Max is getting them a puppy. When Evelyn arrives, she runs toward Max right away, however, she doesn't notice an oncoming bus that hits her with much force. Evelyn doesn't want to leave Max, but she dies before the ambulance can arrive. There weren't a lot of people at Evelyn's funeral, so Max didn't have anyone to grieve with except for Travis. Time passes, but Max is still stagnant with processing Evelyn's death. Finally, Travis has had enough of Max's wallowing and tells him to do something fun for himself. So, he goes to the movies and encounters Olivia. Right away, they reconnect, especially since Olivia just broke up with her ex. Because of the common ground, they hang out to vent to each other. However, Max doesn't mention Evelyn died. After talking about their past over ice cream, Olivia invites him to the cemetery for fun, However, they don't notice Evelyn crawls out of her grave as a zombie. At the end of the night, Max and Olivia are making out on the steps of his apartment, but Olivia thinks it's too soon for them to go further. So, they part ways for the night. When Max gets back upstairs, a knock on the door pulls him out of his thoughts about Olivia. However, his nightmare life starts back up when he sees that it's zombie Evelyn. Scared, he shuts the door in her face, thinking he's just hallucinating. But, Evelyn is adamant about coming back into his life. Right away, Evelyn wants to be intimate with him, but he's too horrified to accept what's going on. To buy himself some time, he tells Evelyn to take a bath before doing so. While she's in the bathroom, Olivia comes knocking back after changing her mind about sleeping with Max. But because of his new predicament, he sends Olivia away, still not telling her about the dead ex situation. Evelyn finishes her bath, she immediately pulls Max with her, but he's still apprehensive. Suddenly, Evelyn slips and breaks her neck, but she just pops it back in place. <clears throat> when Max sees that Evelyn will never die, he gets a feeling of dread. However, Evelyn is glad that they'll be together forever. So, Max realizes that it's all because of the Satan genie. Suddenly, Evelyn pukes out the embalming liquid on Max's face, making him pass out. The next morning, Evelyn is still adamant about sleeping with Max, but he quickly leaves for work just to escape her. At work, 
Max desperately calls Travis for help, but his brother just thinks that he's under the influence. While looking for a solution from the Satan genie, he accidentally drops it instead. So, he finds a guidebook for getting rid of the undead. Right away, he takes note of the things he needs for the banishment. At home, he follows the recipe to a T. Meanwhile, Evelyn suggests that she should bite Max so they can both live forever. When Max finally blows the powder on Evelyn's face, it doesn't do anything. Then, Evelyn tries to kill Max again, but he suggests going to a club to distract Evelyn. When somebody approaches Max about Evelyn's makeup, she misunderstands the situation and thinks someone's trying to flirt with Max, so Evelyn pushes them away. At the bar, Max gets the strongest liquor for Evelyn, but despite having multiple glasses of absinthe, she's unfazed. Afterward, the alcohol creeps out of Evelyn's system, so she pukes behind an alley. While Evelyn is crouched down, puking, Max encounters Olivia. They catch up with each other, and Olivia assumes that Evelyn is just Max's friend because she can't see her. Later, Max carries Evelyn back to their apartment, where she passes out from the alcohol. Because of this, Max falls on top of her, just in time for Travis to walk into. Assuming that Evelyn is dead, Travis thinks that Max is a freak. However, Evelyn suddenly wakes up, which scares Travis. Right away, Travis runs away when Evelyn starts coming up to him. So, Max chases him for help. However, the situation is too convoluted for Travis, so he leaves Max behind, telling him to just break up with Evelyn. The following day, Evelyn surprises Max with breakfast and asks about her plan to bite him. Max tries to convince her to take a break, which Evelyn obviously doesn't receive well. She gets angry and breaks the floor, making Max backtrack on his words. At work, Olivia visits Max and gives him a hangover remedy. They talk for a while over burgers, but just before the moment could get more romantic, Max suddenly gets a call from Evelyn. Because Evelyn forces Max to say, I love you, Olivia connects the dots. She assumes that Max still can't move on from Evelyn, but he can't explain the full reason for what's going on. Before leaving, Olivia tells Max that if he wants to be with her, Max can find her at the movie showing in a cemetery. Because Max wants to be with Olivia, he goes to Travis again, desperate for help against Evelyn. So, Travis hands him a machete to behead his zombie girlfriend. At home, Max lays down plastic covers on the ground for easy cleanup. While Evelyn does yoga, Max tries to take the opportunity when she closes her eyes. However, Max couldn't find it in him to do so. Hence, he just returns the weapon to Travis. At this point, Max feels like giving up. But, Travis comes to the support and tells Max to meet Olivia while he'll be the one to kill Evelyn. Later, Max has difficulty leaving because Evelyn isn't convinced that it's for work. But, he's able to leave anyway, though not without a quick kiss. Once Max is off to meet Olivia, Travis goes upstairs, pretending that he's getting something from Max's apartment. While at the apartment, Travis buys time by watching his DVDs despite Evelyn trying to kick him out. Meanwhile, Olivia and Max have a wonderful time outside and end up making out. However, because of the gory scenes in Travis's DVD, Evelyn's zombie tendencies get triggered. Before Travis could grab his machete, Evelyn immediately bites his skull. While Max and Olivia start getting intimate in her car, Travis is losing a fight against Evelyn. Soon, she ends up eating Travis. The next day, Max hurriedly goes back to the apartment for Travis. But much to his surprise, he sees Evelyn, already looking much worse. Right away, Evelyn starts picking up on the signs that something is wrong with Max. However, Max finds out that Evelyn killed Travis which upsets him. Despite this, Evelyn still tries to get her way and convinces Max to be with her forever. So, he tells Evelyn to run a hot bubble bath for them. While she's preoccupied, Max immediately traps her inside by blocking the door with their dresser. Afterward, Max calls 911 for help and tells the full story of zombie Evelyn. Obviously, this isn't received well, so the emergency services hang up on him. With no one left to call, Max runs out to the police station. Meanwhile, Evelyn gets suspicious of Max being gone and realizes that she's trapped inside. But, the flimsy blockage barely does anything compared to Evelyn's zombie strength. Furthermore, Evelyn notices Max forgot his phone and finds Olivia's text about their date last night. Immediately, Evelyn is upset and ends up breaking his phone. Right away, she goes to Olivia's workplace to attack her. Meanwhile, Max still can't convince the police that his situation is real. Suddenly, he hears a radio call from the officer about Olivia's shop getting attacked. So, he hurriedly runs back to her ice cream shop. After finding no one, he runs back to the apartment and sees that Evelyn has tied up Olivia. Because of the situation, Max finally explains what's going on, that Evelyn is already dead. Max finally confesses that he's been unhappy in their relationship for the longest time. So, Evelyn agrees to move on, but only if she takes Max with him. Immediately, a fight breaks out between the three as Olivia manages to untie herself. Despite being two versus one, Evelyn manages to overpower the two. But before Evelyn could bite him, 
Olivia throws a vase at the zombie and tells Max to go for the brain. Immediately, he takes one of the glass shards and stabs her in the head. Still, this doesn't work, and Evelyn still ends up beating both of them. Unexpectedly, Evelyn gets defeated when a machete goes through her torso, thanks to Travis. Turns out he has also risen from the dead as a zombie. Afterward, Max is finally able to bury his ex for good with the help of Olivia. He apologizes for not being truthful with her sooner, but Olivia just brushes it off and kisses Max. Soon, Max starts a happier page in his life, working in his own horror shop right alongside Olivia's ice cream shop. Furthermore, he even proposes to Olivia. Meanwhile, they still keep zombie Travis around, working as a roadside sign spinner for their shops. To watch movies similar to this one, you should check these recaps.